Hi everyone, Saga here with your weekly Monday memo. So this week we still feel a lot of Capricorn energy. You know, the Sun, Mercury and Venus are still in Capricorn and Mars continues to be in Gemini until next year, which is closer now, <laughs> of course. Um, so there's a lot of that energy of being a hard worker, of being diligent, of almost being stoic and very practical. Um, and the main thing you're going to notice this week, which you probably might have already started noticing because of the pre-shadow period, is Mercury going retrograde. That's right. Mercury goes retrograde the 29th of December, and we will go into the new year if you follow the Gregorian calendar with the Mercury retrograde. This can mean a few different things. So this will happen in Capricorn. So we have a lot of Capricorn energy and on top of that Mercury, Mercury will go retrograde in Capricorn energy, which means that we're probably going to experience some issues with communication, with contracts, with technology, especially when it comes to those points where we want to see rewards and hard work paying off. So this could play out in different ways for different people. This period might be a very good time for you to actually embrace letting go and relaxing if you're usually a very like diligent worker and get very easily frustrated when there are obstacles but on the other hand this is also a very good time to embrace doing your best despite obstacles because you're probably going to experience a lot of obstacles and delays in rewards and delays in outcomes due to this retrograde with Capricorn and Mercury kind of working together to bring us these lessons and challenges um, and so it might be a very good time to learn to keep going, even when it feels like it's not really going anywhere. Um, listen to your intuition and you'll find your way forward best because Mercury and retrogrades tend to bring us very unique lessons, but that's a thing to watch out for. Also, of course, as always in a Mercury retrograde, try to be patient and try to prioritize practical communication because there will probably be a lot of misunderstandings and miscommunications and misfirings this period. But other than that, I mean, I hope you've had a wonderful holiday if you celebrate it. And if you follow the Gregorian calendar, I wish you a beautiful new year because the next time you see me in a Monday memo, we're gonna be in the next year, 2023. And before I go, a card for those who it feels it resonates for them and it's celebration. So it's been a long year. This is really a good week to sit down and celebrate and think of the things you've overcome, think of the things you've learned and think of the things you want to plan and also bring with you from this year into the next. And the universe is just lovingly reminding you to do so in celebration. And with that beautiful message, I wish you a happy new year.